Access to commonly prescribed medications is becoming more difficult as states continue to ban or limit abortion rights. One drug in particular that's used to treat arthritis, lupus, and even cancer is now harder to get because it's also used for some abortions. CBS News correspondent Janet Shanlian has more. Nora Weiss has been living with a rare autoimmune disease that causes inflammation in her bones. For a while, her mom says there was no relief. We are doing therapies and everything we could, but her pain kept increasing and she would be crying all night long. The 10-year-old Indiana girl says the worst pain was in her lungs. It felt like I didn't want to breathe. It just felt like needles. But life changed, her mom says, after Nora's doctor prescribed methotrexate. We started the methotrexate. It took about two weeks and she said she wasn't in pain anymore. Methotrexate slows the body's immune system and reduces inflammation. It's commonly used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and some cancers, but can also be used to terminate non-viable ectopic pregnancies, where a fertilized egg grows outside the womb. Since the Supreme Court decision that overturned Roe v. Wade, some women report trouble getting the medication by pharmacists concerned they could be held responsible for aiding an abortion. As soon as I started hearing about women in other states having this issue, I started asking the question, is this going to be a problem? Annie England Nobland is a long-term user of methotrexate for rheumatoid arthritis, but says a pharmacy recently put her refill on hold. They needed to make sure that my rheumatologist actually prescribed me methotrexate for my RA and not so that I could, you know, abort a fetus. Nobland lives in Missouri, a state banning almost all abortions. When you heard that, what did you think? It was immediate anger. I was embarrassed because I was in a pharmacy line. Um, and I, I said, okay, do you also need to know the first date of my last period as well? John Thopel is an OBGYN doctor practicing in Texas, another state where most abortions are illegal. This is a common thing we deal with. He's prescribed methotrexate about 10 times over the last year to end non-viable pregnancies and is concerned about potential delays in patients getting it. Are there other medications that can do what this drug does? Unfortunately, for a treatment of an ectopic pregnancy, no. You know, so if this is delayed, there is a timeline that this works. If the pregnancy gets too far along, the only thing left is surgery. For Nora Wise, the medication is a game changer. She wants to keep taking. I know the medicine works. I don't have any more pain. It's just I hope that I, I'll have my medicine. Janet Shamlian, Austin, Texas. And rapper Nipsey Hussle was posthumously honored on Monday with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hussle's grandmother accepted the star on behalf of his family. Three years ago, Hussle was fatally shot in Los Angeles by Eric Holder Jr. Monday would have been the late rapper's 37th birthday. In July, jurors found Holder guilty of first-degree murder. Holder will be sentenced next month and could face up to life in prison. Coming up, it's red and blue. We have a full look at today's primary elections, including an exclusive interview with Congresswoman Liz Cheney. Our Robert Costa is in Wyoming with the latest. And a new legislative win for the president. Details of the newly signed Inflation Reduction Act. Red and Blue is next. You're streaming CBS News.